Hello again, it's just me, as you can see. I'm playing Goddess again. Uh, uh, the comments I had on the, the previous video, uh, the main reason it's so laggy is because of me recording it. Uh, plus, um, the game is a bit laggy itself because I'm using an uh, an Acer Aspire 5542 laptop. It's not exactly the, the best way of playing the game, which is why it runs quite laggy. And and so uh, here we go. Um, what I would like to show you here is, as you can see, what I've realised these flags. There are that have got like the white, what I would call the white background. These are the special people. Now, what I mean by special people is, for example, these. As you can see, it's up on, I'm guessing what you call a mountain top. Now, the kind of uh, characters that like to live on mountain tops. Are uh, what was it the Samson people? And so, if I click on there, aha! Here comes one of those very people. As you can see, he's got a different outfit to a normal follower, and he's got a beard. <laughs> Basically, yeah. See, there we go, he's got a little beard, so he's one of the Samson people, and because they like to live on, like, in, a, in mountains and stuff like that, that's why, well, in or on mountains, that is why I have put them here. Simple as that, really, that just doesn't think there's any other explanation needed. Now, If uh, if I come down this way, that's a bit slow using the keys. Let's uh, scroll using the middle mouse button to be quicker. Despite the lag, it's uh, <laughs> it's still a bit quicker. Uh, It's not usually this laggy. I have had a little bit of a little bit of a uh, little bit of little bit of some slight problems uh, earlier on. I uh, I went to somewhere like right the way up, literally to like the very edge of the map, and uh, it crashed the game basically. <laughs> And I couldn't restart the game, which was a bit of a bummer, uh, because somehow it had uh, it, it had like either like just broke the game or corrupted to such a stage that I just couldn't do it. So anyway. Uh, because I, I had some new people after winning uh, battles at the, the, the Mount. As you can see there, the Mount of Gods, I've done 10 now. So, uh, it, in one of the uh, one of the battles, the people, the, the followers that were left behind or like, remained at the end, I think there was about 43 or something. They came to live in the, the homeland, uh, and so I thought, well, you know, where am I going to put them? Because there were so many. Uh, there was nowhere, basically. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll, when you you win the battle, they all come out of that statue, sort of thing, that shrine statue of them. 
and there are like no places to build around it. So I figured the next best thing was to extend here. Now in this bit, that's Amy, that's uh, one of the people that you battle. Uh, yes, she was one who came to Nivea and B. Plimmer, the other one, I mean, I've placed her there. With Amy, I was trying to place her somewhere up on the land. But for some reason, whenever I created a, a plot, she would just kind of stand there and put her hands in the air and sort of go, Yeah! And I'm like, Yeah! Build there! Don't just cheer! So, anyway, I think she might prefer the beach. So, anyway, again, as you can see, uh, this part, similar flags, to, well, as you can see there, because Amy is what, what you would call a normal follower, the flag is with the blue background. And why I say blue background? Because it's the blue bit on the flagpole. Now, these, the, the two there and the three next to them, wild men live here. Uh, and they prefer an isolated area. So, what I have done uh, is. I created this path that goes all the way around. What I've just noticed, unfortunately, is this uh, bit of grime here which I need to beautify. What I noticed, there was, I think it was that bit. Yeah, yeah it, it, th this area. There was uh, this, uh, it, it's technically swamp. Uh, I beautified some of it, but it comes back, if you know what I mean. So you need to beautify, well, I mean, actually, you can see the little, well, I'm guessing is the, the like butterflies or something. That's because I've beautified that bit. Uh, and as you can see up the top there, this bit has been beautified, but... Because I didn't beautify this bit, it's kind of spreading back onto the land, so I'll, I need to do that. Anyway, as I was saying, the reason I, I cleared that bit up as well is because, as I was saying, I have created some space over here for those wild men to come and build, basically. Uh, you've got a, a three plot there, a three plot there. Um, that one's is that one a, a three there? I need need to uh, move back some of this land just there so that I can uh, hopefully make that into a a size three plot as well. And so uh, I'm just going to pause it briefly here, and I'll start recording in just a tick. Okay then, and uh, here we go again. Right. Um, not sure what I've just done. I think I might have just started a new section instead of just unpausing the recording. Well, anyway. Never mind. I'll put it all together later. Um, as you can see, this area here I've created to try... This is a bit of an experiment. I'm not sure if it will work. I'm hoping it will. Um, but I've kind of made some steps leading up there. And, uh, and hopefully... I can en entice the... Uh, the wild men from 
over that bit there and bring them over here because I know I've got to be honest with you I, think I would prefer them to be in a spot like that rather than uh, rather than where they are because it, it, it's hmm, not really that isolated so Right, okay. Ah, there we go. There's the champion uh, thing. Uh, that wasn't available before, for some reason. So, okay, let's select beautify and clear all of that up there. And I can't believe it, but I've missed a little bit there. Let's move that over. And the problem is when recording, and because things are a bit laggy and and stuff, it does tend to mess with the controls a bit. Uh, So when I scroll out, it's kind of a bit jerky with the scrolling as well. And uh, I don't know if you know. Oh well, obviously I haven't. At the time of recording this, I haven't uploaded the previous video. Uh, but when I won um, the tenth battle in the Mount of the Gods. Uh, you get the Statue of Exploration, which is a bit pointless. Uh, if you get the information, place down this statue to inspire all nearby residents to choose to leave their abodes in pursuit of expansion. But the thing is, you, you put that down, it basically means. The, the followers leave their abodes and will basically just wander around until they die because followers are kind of like sheep if you don't guide them to where you want them to go they will not go there so yeah now what I want to do is well what, what I want to do is be a bit careful because sometimes when you click on some of these uh, well, character abodes I suppose you could say instead of a wild man coming out it could be something else not just a normal follower so, let me click. Aha, it's a wild man. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Let's, uh, let's scoot over to there. So, I didn't want to place the totem just yet until what came out of the boat was a wild man. So, what I want him to do is, if we place a totem there, then if we go back over to this bit, the wild man, hopefully will be running towards it. Ah, there he is. But he's not going the way I wanted him to. Which is kind of... Ah, yeah. As usual, they will be going the more direct route or route however you however you say it 
Some people say root, some say root. Ah, oh, shit, ah, oh, shit, boy. Uh, what it looks like he will be doing is coming this way. So, just to, uh, just to give him a bit more path to walk across. Let's move that. Um, now what he will do is walk around this way. Well, I say he will. What it looks like he'll do is walk around that way. If he ever gets there, well, ah, there he is. Okay, so he's see th this is th this is one of the uh, one of the faults I think of uh, of goddess is that rather than take an obvious path. They would rather what, what what you call make a beeline to the destination. So for crying out loud, and that's another annoying thing. Oh, okay, sorry. So, it turns out I, I couldn't. Sorry, people. <laughs> I, uh. didn't realise. Uh. okay, so where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Now you might be thinking, oh, he's a bit tired. Even if I click on him, look, he doesn't run faster. This is because this used to be swampland, but I beautified it. And for some reason, when people walk through it, well, actually, it may not be as beautified because as you can see that the stripes there that's beautified. See and it, it, it's walking normally now so ah. okay you, you would think it was still beautiful because you know there are still sparkly things and you know, the little sparkly bits. And the thing is they do not like one of a sparkly bit. I mean, I'm sure I've tried to beautify it all before. As you can see, it's. Uh, I, th I, I guess it does take you know, more than like, one or two sort of whooshes of. Uh, Now the thing here is, um, I didn't exactly plan on them walking uh, walking that way, so it does kind of mean If I do that, then let's see if that will just go back to there. No, it's going to be it. And this is another thing. Stay. Oh, thank you. Yes, it has. 
one of the things that bugs me a little is people will say, oh, don't use the other sculpting way. You know, use this way. But, see, see how it springs back? Oh God, how annoying is that? That thing springs right back. Stay. Thank you, that'll do. That, that'll do. Because that means then he can walk down here and then down there. Oh, okay. Or, better still, if... Oh, look, see how it springs back. How annoying is that? For goodness sake. But stay. Thank you. Goodbye. But, um, stay. No, he says, fuck you. I'm just going to spring right back. Stay. Thank you. No. Defiance. Please, look. You see? It's not ex exactly... I mean, I'm bringing it back quite far. Thank you. There we go. It's actually stayed this time. Oh. Well, that was quick. How did it get down there? Uh. <laughs> so wasn't really paying attention. I'm just trying to get the bloody land to work. How I'd, how I'd like it to. Uh, okay. So there we go. Now what I will do, for now, is just deactivate the totem. So, that I can click on this about. Oh, great. Okay. Click on this one as well. And we get another wild man. So, let me reactivate the totem and get those guys. Those go. Those guys. Let's get those guys all over there. Oh yes. <laughs> so you went a bit Irish then. Ha ha! Get those guys all over there. Oh, now hold on a minute. He's going that way. But he's got, he's gonna go that way. Now this is what I wanted them to do in the first place. Because as you can see the way he's going up there, it's the long way. But the way that one's going is obviously a lot shorter. There are now obstacles. It's it's one clear path all the way. Now that guy's got to walk all through the abodes there and work his way up there, as did the other guy. Then all across there. Yet this guy. Yeah, nothing. I mean, they might seem kind of, kind of level to where they were before, but this is where this guy will get left behind, as the other guy there is just going to steam ahead. Because obviously it takes time to climb up there. And so he's like, yeah, I'm just go this way. Which is the way I intended them to. And it looks like, well, that beautification that I did there seemed to work rather well. Oh, now there he goes. Into a bit of a slouch. Oh, no, he's okay again.
plus that's the thing with this bit as you saw earlier how I have to beautify it all see there we go, see how he walks in a slouch I mean I oh and then he walks normal I think what is it, the bits that haven't got the stripes the little bits of land such as there are the bits that are still classed as swampy, I guess you could say. It's a bit silly, really. But, here we go, look at, look at our guy there. The one going the way I <laughs> the way God intended, uh, as he did me. See, a lot quicker. Now messing about, now swampy bits to get, you know, to slow you down. See, so, yeah, this guy's still coming, coming round the mountain. See, so, yeah, and there we go. The thing is, when, you, when you've got a totem on, you don't really need to uh, to click on them to boost their energy back up. But you know, so but like I say, there we go. See, there's the the awkward thing. Oh, is he going to see sense? Yes, yes, he's coming down. That's it, that's it. No, don't. I oh, know you want to go there. Just down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D d down the next one. No, 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 no. Look. Yes, you want to go there. So come down there, like a good boy. Yes, yes, I oh, know you want to go that way. So that's it. Aha! Okay. Okay, Sonic, go on. Oh, God. <laughs> Behold, the average intelligence of a wild man. Yes, Mr. Wildman, you want to go that way? I understand. So, go that way then. Yes, don't just point. Oh, jeez. Yes, we see. You want to go that away. So, go that away. Don't forget rid of that. That's it, go on. Go, go. Yes. Okay, you're pointing that way. That's it. So go that way. Finally. Good grief. <laughs> so. As you can see, <laughs> finally, that is the start of where I will be moving my wild men to. Well, say moving, I'm, I might leave those guys over there, but you know, I will start populating this bit as well. Um, there are a few kind of mountain ranges I guess you could say. So uh now I've got my Samson people up here. Um obviously there's not much room on top of mountains really. I mean I've got, you know obviously I've had to spread that bit out. Uh same this side as well. Actually, that, that, oh no, that, that is the peak 
of how high that bit goes. Uh, there's another bit over there I could like flatten out for them to uh, to occupy. Um, but as it is for the moment, that's kind of the situation I'm in right now. Uh, as you can see, I've managed to occupy quite a bit of beach space, which I was thinking would help spread influence and open up more area, but apparently this is how it's meant to be because of um, obviously it's only a beta so you can only go so far and whatever so uh, but what I will be doing is I shall get rid of some of these trees uh, no 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 you can go away piece of land I'll sort of get back up some of this land and uh, create some more population in. Uh, it looks like, as it is at the moment, until 1.3 is released, which could be possibly tomorrow. Tomorrow being October the 4th. Uh, because details from 22 cans basically said that they needed another 48 hours to work on the patch because it was affecting game saves and so in order to you know, to release a proper complete um, update they needed a bit longer to uh, test the patch and whatever and um, and I got a bonus I mean I actually I tweeted I said you know I would wa rather wait for a stable release so that it doesn't mess up uh, the game or the saves whichever uh, you know then um, release something that's unstable and it's going to mess up your game. Then you're going to get people saying, Oh, no, no, it played, it done this, it messed up my game, I spent hours doing this. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, if, if you just wait, be patient, let them release a, a proper, complete, stable like, product, then, it, you know, you're not going to have people whinging. And as I say, I would, I would rather wait, albeit another two days, for something that's uh, there's going to be quite a substantial update by the sound of it. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, from what I've kind of heard and read about it, it is going to be quite good. I'll say quite good. It's good actually going to be a a very good update. We should be having farming and stuff like that. I mean, obviously, you'll need to unlock resource cards and stuff like that in order to to gain farming abilities. But you know, it's going to be worth the wait. Um, now, at the moment, uh, that is all I can do. Um, I mean, yeah. I know I, st I may have started doing these kind of let's plays a bit late, really, yeah. Um, but you can kind of see where I'm at. You know, I mean, I've got so much belief because I just don't need to do anything. If I collect belief from here, Bong, that takes me up to that much. And if I just come over to here and collect that belief, bong, it takes me up to that much. And I honestly just don't need 
to use that much belief at the moment. Uh, you know, I, I could, well, I did get earlier uh, today go over one million, uh, <clears throat> one million points of belief. Because, like I say, I, I just don't need it. You know, it, I, I suppose that's the thing when you get so far in a in a beta that beta, however you want to say that. That's another word, beta, beta. People say it differently. <laughs> anyway, um. Yeah, it, it, it's. I think they wanted to get something out there to say, look, this is what we're doing. This is going to be the game. So instead of waiting another two or three months for what could have possibly been about a fifty percent completed product. They've released this, which is about 40%. Now, don't get me wrong. The only reason that I am stuck at this point is because, you know, I've, d I've done so much. Uh, I mean, there are people that have got, you know... Oh, and there we go. We've broken the 1 million barrier. I never have... 1,002k <laughs> which doesn't make much sense it's basically just over a million points of faith faith, belief, whatever uh, and as I say, so as it is um, you know, the, the, uh, until the 1.3 update which will hopefully bring the ability to go more places, do more things, find more things. I am just, uh, I am stuck. Uh, I, I managed to find, now, I had a problem earlier, uh, when I said about how I went exploring on my own, if you know what I mean. Like, I took the camera outside and I went to like the, the edge of the map and as I was scrolling back um, the game crashed. Then every time I tried to load the game it would just crash because where it had saved it, it, it saved at the crash point. <laughs> so uh, I had to uh, I had to revert to an older save, which thankfully wasn't that far behind the stage that I'd got to, and so that's why I'm able to play, uh, carry on from where I'm playing. But uh, as you can see, I mean, I've got just so much uh, belief. Yeah, I really don't need to uh, to keep collecting any yet. I mean, I've still got you know I've got this little bit over here. And, uh, but I mean, the problem is there are now more shrines for me to collect, uh, to collect, to uncover. There are now more because uh, when I, like I said, uh, uh, apparently. And for some reason, somehow, somewhere, whatever, uh, I looked and I thought, hello. And there were like some of the little cards. I thought, ah, there's a chest there. Okay. And so I managed to uncover the chest. This grey bit, that's basically where the land is outside my influence, which kind of doesn't make too much sense considering. But 
But uh, yeah, one of the things I was doing was I was outside of the land and I was just scrolling along like this and down to down to down and I was, you know, but this was like way up there, you know, way up this way. And like I say, because see, you get to the edge there and there's nothing. Nothing is out there. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not going to do that again because I'm going to end up crashing the game. Uh, and so I had to revert to an older save and... Not sure why, but it seemed to either respawn or reload a couple of chests as well, so... Although they were not that helpful really because I think the one was coal and the card that it went to I need like ten coal cards. Um and I mean I've searched within trees like this and searching around all the landscape and wherever and there's just nothing so hopefully in the like tomorrow uh, hopefully that the the 1.3 update will look will be released and uh, And more content will arrive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, all I can do, I'm just going to work on getting to 3,000 to see what uh, to see what I get given. Because obviously, when you reach certain you know, population, um, you receive something. So, uh, well, what I will do, I will stop the video here because it's going to take a little while for me to reach 3,000 in population. So, um, I will stop it here and we'll be back in just a quick blur. Right, okay, uh, I have reached 3,000. What magical card will it give me? If it's at all magical. The very thing that I was talking about earlier with the uh, 1.3 update coming. Farmhouses. So there we go. I have unlocked farmhouses just in time since, as I say in the next update, we will be able to have little farms, farmlands. So here we go. Uh, rank 5, talk about About type, rank 5. Capacity 20. Max belief of 20,000. <whistles> Birth rate plus plus. Belief rate plus plus plus. Plus 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 plus. Leads to manners. I say manners. New materials, low because of some yada 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 So, yeah, okay. That's something. A little something something. Uh, not exactly the best uh, card I could have gotten, but never mind. Uh, as you can see, I'm just working on this bit to reduce this massive kind of steps here. Uh, make them a bit more you know, a bit more tidy if possible. But as usual, when you, you try to shape them in the way that you want, no! It keeps springing back like dumbass stupid... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It's a little bit frustrating, is it? Uh, so, anyway. Uh, because the thing is, uh, oops, 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 what I can do then is take this bit back here and get a few more of birds down here and basically it's all, this is all I can do is just uh, you just boost the population because until the updates I'm pretty much stuck for things to do and so and especially as you might be able to see up the top right, uh, top left there 3004 the next stage is 4,000. So, uh, it's going to be quite a while until I can uh, until I can attain or obtain another card. Through population, anyway. So, as you can see, there's another couple of followers building their, uh, their abode. And just before I sign off completely, let's just bring you over here to another couple of wild men that I managed to uh, to bring over, and we now have three abodes. And so. Yeah, there we go. Right. That's all I can do for now. Um, so, until tomorrow, hopefully when the updates will be released, um, I'll be able to do a video on what's new and whatever. So, until then, thank you for watching, and join me next time. Oh, somebody just died. Bye-bye. <laughs>